Hi girls, top of the morning to you. Hope y'all had a good St. Patrick's Day this past weekend. It's my favorite holiday of the year because hmm, I get to wear green and I like green, it's my favorite. Anyway, week three of our Enchanted class. I hope you are excited to start it. We are gonna do pages six, seven, and eight. This page. Page. This page. So let me tell you what you're going to need. Both sets of stamps. Again, your layered dimensionals, what you have left. Noteworthy. Your layered chipboard. Rub-ons. Your True Love cardstock sticker. Your 6x6 paper pad combo sticker and what's left of the fairy tale paper and your cutouts the actual enchanted paper we're going to use that side and then your 12 by 12 chipboard so that's what we're going to need and if you are putting photos in it make sure that you have your photos there today we're going to be using a uh, one horizontal, one vertical, and one square. So, um, I think that's all you need to know and we'll get started. All right, to start with today, I'm gonna have you emboss these pages, all, all three pages, because there's quite a bit embossed under the, under the papers. So we're gonna start out and we're gonna be using this stamp and this cute little heart right here. And then, going to want to do that big stamp right over here in the center on the right and then right down here in this corner and then one little heart up there in the left top corner. On the next page you're going to be using this corner stamp right here and it's embossed in the bottom left and upper right and it's white on white so I don't know if you can get catch the glare there. Um, but you'll notice it in your book. And then on page eight, don't drop Diet Coke on it right here. That's not part of the plan. Um, but you do want to use this stamp again. And it's stamped three times. So I centered it and then I did one on both sides of it. I don't know if you can catch that in the light. But that's there. And then one little heart up in this corner. We will be doing a little bit more embossing elsewhere but to start out get those done because stuff's going to cover those. All right so starting with page six out of your six by six pad you're going to need a script page and your fluftaline page, floor de floor, damask, bro, brocade, whatever you want to call it. So first our first piece is this little one right here and it is going to be one inch by four inches. And we're going to stick this guy over on the left side of the page. And it's going to go about a half an inch from your holes and pretty much just centered between the top and the bottom. So about a half an inch in from the holes and then centered on the bottom. And then we're going to go to our Fluff to Lean page and that one is going, or piece, that piece is going to be two and a half by five and one fourth. Two and a half by five and one fourth. And this one is going to go centered. Just, I'm just going to bump mine up against this one here, which makes me think that that one's not straight, but I'm going to live with it. And then your last scripty page is going to be two and a fourth by four and three fourths. And that one is actually going to overlap. And the right side of it is going to be about in the center of that flourish there in the corner. And you're going to drop it down below the damask so that it, but not, so it's kind of between, you have damask on both sides of that my words are upside down. And then right about right in the middle of that. 
so somewhere in there like that guy. And then you're going to want to grab your Noteworthy. And the first guy we're going to use is this guy. And we're actually going to cover up his journaling lines. We're just going to use him for decoration because he's such a fun shape. And he is going to go over here. And the center of him is going to go about where those guys meet. So we've got him there. And then you're going to want your photo if you have your photos ready. So I've got another kissing photo. These guys did a lot of kissing in their photo shoot. My cute little nephew and his bride. Okay, so your photo is going to go so that you just have a little bit of the script border and about three quarters of an inch from the right. Like that. So I'm actually going to scoot it over just a tiny bit more because I want this to show. This edge right there. I'm going to try and put it straight, but it doesn't look like I'm... So I actually did about a half an inch right there. Okay, now we are going to put the love rub on, onto the photo. And I'm going to show you how Romy did it. She's got it right in the center, and she just used it as is. And that looks great. And then on mine that I did for this nephew, I, I actually squamped the love, cut each letter apart and squamped it so that it fit right there in that blank space. So you want to strategically place your rub on, um, you know, where it looks best on your photo. So on this one, I'm thinking if I put it in this bush, you're not going to see it because it's so dark. But if I put it on her dress, it's going to pop a little more. So I think I'm just going to leave it as is and put it right across the bottom of her dress right there. All right, now with our layered chipboard, we're going to add the little dress form right down here along the bottom. And we're going to add this layered heart right up here to the corner. And I'm actually going to put mine down a little more. I don't know. Anyway, somewhere right there you want to put that, that guy. And then from your combo sticker, there's this little tag. And you're going to put that right in there. And this isn't sticking very well, so I, I'm actually going to add a little extra adhesive there. And then this, from the rub-ons, this little white heart. I'll show you against the black. It's just going to kind of tuck right in where the waist of that dress form is. And then all you have left on this page is to add the liquid pearls and your glossy accents and crackle paint, whatever kind of medium you want to add to embellish it up. That's what we're going to do after that. So. I will go ahead and do that so that mine can start drawing and we'll be back in a minute. All right, there's page six with all of its little pearls and one thing I wanted to kind of um, draw your attention to is the glossy accents that's on the love. Kind of makes it look like an epoxy sticker that's on that love rub on. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks really cool in person. So that's page six. We're going to skip seven and let six dry and go on to page eight. So we're going to go ahead and start on page eight, which looks like this. Make sure that your holes are on the left. And with this one, we're going to start out of, with the back side of Enchanted. And you're going to want a piece that is four and three fourths by four and three fourths. And that page is, or that piece is pretty much going to be centered right on our page. So that nothing hangs off. Just kind of center that baby. And then we're going to have our fleuf de line here, two and one fourth by four and five eighths. 
2 and 1 fourth by 4 and 5 eighths. And after we get that one on, you want to get out your noteworthy. We're going to use a big noteworthy on this. This guy is actually going to hang off the end. You're going to want to, well, you can leave it hanging if you want. I'm just going to sand mine until it falls off. So it just kind of fits around the page there. I don't know if you guys know that technique. It's a really fun one, but when something is hanging over, if you just sand it, it gives us, it gives it the, it gives it a really neat, clean finish when you sand it off. All right, then this is the noteworthy guy we're gonna use with the top hat and all of the flourishes coming out of the square. Gorgeous. And we are gonna stick him on. And he goes so that these flowers, he's gonna come so that the top of this paper here is gonna be about the center of the flower. And I'm gonna show you on the page how he comes up around the picture. All these cute little flourishes come out from the picture. It's a lot of fun. All right, then on this guy, we're gonna do our photo next because everything else will be on top of it. So if you have your photo, it's one of them that are, one of the square ones. Three and a half inches square. And I'm sure you all know it, but I'm just gonna remind you that your photos don't have to be the exact same size as the album that we're looking at. Use, use what works for you. Personalize it your way. Um, I'm just giving you sizes because I know that there's some of you out there that like it to be exact, and that's fine too. Doesn't matter. So this guy is gonna, the top of it's gonna go right below the top hat, and then it's gonna go about a half an inch in. All right, like that. Okay, and then hopefully, I should have told you, but I didn't, you wanna I hope you kept this little, the other side of the flourish, because that guy's gonna go right there at the top. And that was from the 12 by 12 chipboard. We used the other side of it a few pages back. And then on your Enchanted Fairy Tales, on the top of one of those labels, there is the head of a cherub. We're gonna use her, and she's gonna go right there on top of that flourish. And rather than adhese her, because I don't know where she'll need to be, I'm just going to put a little bit on this guy. And I'm going to let it run over the edges a little bit so that it adheres him on as well. And then she's just going to kind of sit on there. Like that. Now, in your 12 by 12 chipboard, there's a dark corner. We're gonna get that guy and we're actually gonna put it along the corner, bottom left of this photo. And I'm actually gonna give this guy a little bit of extra adhesive too. I just, these books are handled so much with people looking through them. You just wanna make sure everything's stuck down good. Okay, and then get out your Laird Dimensionals, your Laird stickers, and we're going to use the little candle stick. And he is going to go right on the left side of that corner. Right on the black paper so he kind of just sticks out right there. And then, with your rub-on of this cherub, you're going to put him on a piece of paper. And we actually put him on a piece like this, but because he has a white layer under him, you, you don't really see it. It's just really subtle in there. It gives it kind of, you know, a look matching the paper. So rub him on and then cut him out using whichever technique you're using, one with the big white board or medium white board or right against the line. 
and then we're gonna stick him on right here over this corner. So I'm gonna put a, a foam square at the top so it just holds that down. This album, if you know anyone that's getting married this June, a couple months away, would be a fun little gift to give somebody who's getting married. Would also be fun without photos if you put, you know, just white papers and used it as a sign-in book at the, at the chair as people come in to your reception. I think that would be a fun idea. Or even one to display at the reception. How fun would that be? If you did your engagement pictures or even your, your bridal pictures, you'd want to change the wording a little bit because it says just the two of us. And if it was just the one of you, that would be silly. So if you changed the wording, that would work great. And I'm babbling. So now we're going to get a, the little sticker off of your true love stickers down here that says my love. And again, I'm going to cut that with the little tag end and then just roll that sticker up so it looks a little bit worn. And once you touch that with your fingers, you kind of lose adhesive, so you do want to add just a little bit to that. And I'm actually going to put that right there on the photo. All right. Now, um, Romy has stamped these two strings with the ribbons here and then a heart right down here. So go ahead and emboss your page with those, the strings here and the heart down here, and then go ahead and add your pearl drops and your glossy accents and all of that stuff. And then we will move on to our last page. All right, page six should be dry, so we're gonna turn over and go to page seven. Just make sure that your holes are on the right. And the first piece of paper you're gonna cut is the back side of Enchanted, and it is gonna be three inches by five and a fourth. Three inches by five and a fourth. And this guy's gonna go along the left side and just kind of center it so that there's equal amounts all the way around. And sometimes it looks crooked, but the pages aren't exactly straight, so it's hard to tell. Maybe I'm just more picky. Um, I try not to be. The next piece we're gonna need is out of the cutouts, and it has a column. And we're gonna put the column on the right. So I think there's two on the page, one on this side and one on this side. So we want the one with the column on the right. And it actually is gonna go just barely over top of the dotted one and down right there. And then we're gonna have a page of a piece of script and it's gonna be two and a half by five. And it's just gonna go all right along the bottom and right in the center of those two papers. So I'm just gonna match it up at the bottom and right on the center. All right, next we're gonna wanna add a photo because everything else is gonna be on top. And this guy's just gonna kinda be centered. Uh, centered this way and then more to the bottom this way. So that's gonna go on there. And then I'll show you in Romy's book, she, her always is right here, the rub on. And then when I did this book, um, I felt like with this rub on and that E and K there, that it was a bit much over here, so I put it in the center. So kind of watch where you're gonna put yours. I think on this one, I'm actually gonna put it over here where it's just kind of blank. So just kind of look and find where it's gonna look the best for you, and then we're gonna put that always rub on on right there, wherever you find that you like the way it looks. That's what I love about rub is you can just go right over the photo and it kind of gives it that digital look where people print the words on top of the photos. One of my favorite things about rub is that you can go right on top of your photo and it looks great. All 
All right, so there's my always. The next thing I'm gonna do is on my 12 by 12 chipboard, there is a white corner. That's gonna go here on the bottom left. And then this heart is a rub on. So just rub that onto some white paper or even that, that script like we did. I think that's what's on here. Um, and then that guy's gonna kind of be centered on that photo corner there. And then on your layered dimensional stickers, that top sticker that says true love, or I'm not sure what it says actually. Maybe I'll show you because I can't tell what it says from over there. This one, we're just gonna take off one set of those bells. And we're gonna put them right down here in the corner. And then from your combo sticker, there's this little buggy and you're just gonna, I backed it on this paper here, the back side of the Enchanted, just so it has a little back black edge on it. And that guy's just gonna go right below the hole. You don't wanna cover that hole right there. Oops, sorry, I took that off because the rub on, this big heart rub on goes right there first. This guy is gonna stick right there and go over our photo. Sorry about that. Unless you were actually doing that as I said it, you should be okay. All right, so I've got the heart on now and now I'm gonna put the little buggy on there. That guy's gonna go right there. All right, and then we're gonna emboss a heart right here. And it is this heart with this side. We're just gonna emboss him right there and then just add your pearls and your glossy accents or your crackle paint, whatever you have, and detail that guy up and then we will be done for this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, with that last bit of embellishment, girls, on page seven, we are done with pages six, seven, and eight. And do you guys know why six is afraid of seven? You don't? Because seven, eight, nine. Ha ha ha. Anyway, um, that is it for this week. Tune in next week and we will finish off the last three pages of the album and bind it together and you will have the perfect gift or the perfect coffee coffee table book or whatever you plan on using this book for. So it's been fun and I will talk to you guys next Monday. Bye.